what we are held up on, so to speak, is um, the ability to write grants because we do not have anything confirmed with the county with regard to the building that we've been discussing for the past year. Um, and I guess it is my hope that, that relatively soon we can know one way or the other, yes or no, um, whether this building is actually going to become a reality for us. What we are asking, and you folks have seen the, the architect's um, drawings of, of what that proposed clinic might look like, you've also seen the cost estimate on that, which was, which was significant. Um, what we are asking as an organization is that if this lease agreement is to go through just some very basic renovations to the area of that building, and my understanding is the garage will be left as a garage area, but the area where the spade neuter clinic will be housed, we are just simply asking for basic renovations to make the building habitable, customizable, in other words, floors, ceilings, heating, electric, plumbing, that kind of thing, so that we could come in and build out, you know, via cupboards, surgical tables, desk space, what we would need to run a, a viable, high volume, low cost bay neuter clinic here in Stark County. Um, our needs assessment is ongoing. We're still awaiting information from the Stark County Humane Society to get their numbers in order to substantiate this need. Although any of us, and there's a big group of us here, who volunteer and are in the trenches, boots on the ground, every day can tell you there is a dire need for a low cost spay neuter program. I volunteer at the pound and I guarantee you nine out of 10 of those dogs come in unaltered. And that is simply, it's, it's a tragedy because they're out there making more dogs that are eventually going to end up in the pound. And unfortunately, in, in a lot of cases, you were always concerned about the reputation of Stark County, the reputation of the city of Canton. Having that low cost van neuter clinic is going to really look favorably upon the city and upon the county. You're gonna get a lot of good publicity, a lot of national coverage as well as statewide coverage. It's just gonna be, there's just no downside to it. It's definitely just going to be a total win-win for not only for the city of Canton, but for the city, uh, for the county of Stark. One of a kind. I can't tell you how many cats and dogs are being dropped off to get spayed and neutered. Hundreds are done we, on the weekly You have basis. that on your conscience <clears throat> that we're euthanizing these animals when we can fix this so it doesn't have to happen. Every one of us in this room are in overload with rescued animals. Uh, come to my house and see my children. They're all somebody else's throwaways. I do the animal programs for the coalition and take the greyhounds in and the kitties and try to keep, teach the children the right and wrong ways to approach an animal, to do all the right things, to think before you adopt. We get coloring books. We do all these things. But if we can't have the help from the county, we're not going to be able to reach what you can reach and do for us. And by doing this, then hopefully we will get the funding to get a cat shelter. We are all here to speak for those who have no voice. And you gentlemen need to help us continue this incredible journey.